Yo, what's going on today, YouTube? It's Big Boy Brando here, just bringing you some uh, Boom Beach gameplay. Well, I want to show you how to attack with Grenadiers. This will be a live attack, so don't be surprised if I sound a little awkward because I like to do my thinking in my head usually. It's going to be hard to say it out loud when I'm thinking. I've gone ahead and boosted my resource rewards. I'm not going to bother boosting my master uh, power stone chance. So we're going to get 82%. I already have a guy pre-selected here. And you'll see why I boosted. So I'll basically be getting 400,000 gold from this. So I'm going to show you his base before I even attack him. For you, some of you guys watching this, this may be a pretty hard base to attack. Especially if you're just getting into this level. But for me, this should be a walk in the park. Unless I really mess up. But I shouldn't. Uh, I'll... I don't have critters, but if you did, take, if you took out these rocket launchers, you just need critters and you could basically use gunboat energy on the rest of the base itself. You might have to land a few troops smoke back to here and then hit the headquarters from behind, but otherwise, it's a pretty easy base to take, especially with grenadiers, which is what I am, again, bringing you today is a grenadier attack to show you how. And I'm going to mention a few tips and tricks with Grenadiers that I've learned on my own and from the help of some people in my task force. It definitely helps a lot with Grenadiers. It should make them a lot more friendly to use once you learn these. This, these tricks and tips... Sorry about that. Anyways, let's get started. Let's attack this guy. Now, I've already gone through a few times and used my gunboat energy to figure out what's the best way to attack him. I figured out that, the two barrages there on the boom cannons, and then one barrage there, let that be taken out, take that out, take that out. That one's not quite done yet, but oh well, it's close enough. So we're going to land all of the grenadiers and our medics, by the way. Always use medics with grenadiers, that's my first tip and trick, because then your grenadiers stay alive longer, makes rocket launchers no problem, like I've gone against guys four or five headquarters ahead of me, they have like three rocket launchers, it's insane, it's hard to deal with. Okay, so now we're just starting to get into here, I'm going to lose one grenadier probably up front, yeah, lost one. Oh well, that's okay, because I got more where that came from. So, I'm going to let my Grenadiers clear up the defenses behind the headquarters. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flare them over to the side of headquarters where I just put that flare down, because now it's going to be more splash damage on those defenses right next to the headquarters. And then, once those are gone, I'm going to put... Thing. Sorry about that. And I'm gonna go put a flare really close to the headquarters. You're gonna start wearing maybe if if you aren't good with Grenadiers. Aren't I gonna friendly fire? There is a chance that I will, but thanks to the medics, I pro if I do, it's not gonna matter a whole lot. See I just did there and the, that one that I had tapped on, that grenadier. I friendly fired onto him. And it's He's perfectly fine now. He's all healed. Okay, so flaring right next to headquarters, that lowers their limit because usually they could throw way out to right around that machine gun if they were back at their full range. But now it'd be maybe to where the edge, back edge of that sniper tower was. That back one that I'm trying to tap on. Nah, get off my screen. I don't care, Wood. That corner that I'm tapping on there. Here, I'll go look back at the replay so I can show you again. Oh, I defended my home base apparently. Alright, yeah, you can see I attacked him two times before. Alright, so I'll show you what sniper tower I'm talking about. So putting him right there, that makes the farthest back, they'll throw a, one of their grenades back along this line that I'm tapping on, and they'll go a lot smaller basically a lot smaller of a area of damage 
Ah, I didn't even look at how many troops I lost at that. Anyways, I hope that helps you using Grenadiers somewhat so you like them better because you should like them. At, at quarter 16, which is what I'm at, if, I, I didn't even say that before. Anyways, at headquarter 16, Grenadiers, the bomb. I'm just going to tell you that right now. You can take out people so much higher than you. I've attacked headquarters 19s and 20s left and right. And I just, ooh, that looks good. That look, I, I just noticed that with the new update, they changed the ball. I didn't, I didn't remember that, but they did. Anyways, so you can attack up headquarters, headquarters 20 people. I have taken out with no problem with Grenadiers. Of course, I'll lose like five or six of them. But when you have 14, the max I can have is 15, I think. It, I might be able to take out one of my boats and medics. I'm not going to try it, though. I'd rather have all medics stay safe than sorry. Rather safe than sorry. But maybe that would give me a little bit more. I'll have to test that out at a later date, though. And, well, I hope this video has helped you. Please like and subscri subscribe. If you haven't already, you can follow us on Twitter at bottom line enter or at official BLE. I keep forgetting that we had to put it at official BLE because we can't fit all of Bottom Line Entertainment into Twitter for a username. So follow us at Twitter at official BLE. And also follow us on Instagram at Bottom Line Entertainment. Please remember to like and subscribe this video so we can make you more videos. Alright, have a good night.